Sub Infected, how's it going? My name's Apocalyptic Nick, and welcome back to another video again. Welcome back to another video again. I messed that up. I messed up my own intro, whatever, who cares? Anyway, so uh, I decided I'm going to talk to you guys today about anonymous YouTubers. Uh, and the reason I was bringing that up is I just started thinking about it. Like, there's a lot of YouTubers that I love personally that are anonymous. I've never known their faces, never will probably see their faces, just like you guys. And, uh, thinking about it too, like, I actually wanted to strive in that area back in the day. I was like, oh, I'm going to be an anonymous YouTuber. Like, I didn't want to show my face T too late now. But, um, at the time I wanted to be an anonymous YouTuber, but I didn't know how to take it. And I thought at the time when you were an anonymous YouTuber, you, could, you were very restricted into the content you made. And I wanted to do a lot than just gaming videos at the time. Uh, and I was like, oh, I can't do that if I'm anonymous. So I'll show my face. So I have wider, you know, things I can do with my life. And then I saw Swagger Souls and I'm like, wow, I was a fool. Uh, you can do a lot of things while staying anonymous. But um, enough about that. But what I said earlier, I'm going to bring up a point later in... Uh, not a point, but more of like an observation later in this video here and talk to you guys more about it. So I'm going to talk about YouTubers that really know how to keep their anonym, an nominate, anonym, anonym, Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. What's that word called? Anonymity. That. So I'm just going to say anonymous, anonymousness or anonymous. So YouTubers that really are well good at staying anonymous, they're pretty good at it. And you know what? I realized that you don't always have to show your face to be amazing. You know, there's, there's talent and then there's, I never showed my face and I still have a great audience talent. And I'm here to talk about that. So, uh, let's get into the talent of being anonymous. Damn. I know, I know, like, these, those transitions were probably garbage, because this is a new attempt at doing something. I was looking at it back in the day when YouTube came out in 2005, and back then, right, uh, everyone was technically anonymous. Like, YouTubers didn't exist. YouTube existed, but it was all about how to do this, it was how-to videos, uh, hey guys, wanna see this cool Call of Duty Black Ops game I played? Like, it was all about that, like... You know, YouTubers, like, showing your face and actually making it a media platform was unseen and unheard of anyway. So, you know, everyone in the sense had their, uh, you know, their identity protected. And over the years, you had YouTubers who finally, you know, played some games. Like, I'm gonna be a Let's Player, but I don't want to show my face yet because YouTube is kind of weird and it's not a job thing. Like, YouTube was not developed into what it is now, and a lot of people really kept their faces hidden. But as you can see, as YouTube is evolving with media, with the society, and society is taking it a lot more seriously than I guess it did back then, you see uh, also anonymous YouTubers change how they do things. Uh, you guys remember that awesome dude known as Cryotic. Uh, he was with PewDiePie, and they played a lot of awesome games together. Well, Cryotic has never shown his face, or if he has had to film himself, he's worn a mask. So... There was that form of anonymous YouTubers that evolved. Back then, it was just, I'm going to put on some headphones, use my mic, and play a game, and be a funny dude. Epic. Right. Screen Epic. Not, Epic. Not Epic. Oh Epic. my god, you guys get Epic. Get the fuck out of here. Epic. Epic. This is an epic. Epic. This is an like epic. We're dying. But then they evolved into, I can still do bigger things. Like, I can still make videos like Smosh. I can do sketch comedy videos. All I gotta do is just wear a mask and I'm good. Sorry guys, I need to take this call. Hello? Wondering where your friends are, Eric? You're going to regret ever having messed with the demonetization police. And that wasn't something we really uh, saw a lot in these, uh, in YouTube. You know, that was a very good, unique approach to it. And it, it really just got me thinking that you can still be entertaining without showing your face and you can still throw a unique twist onto things no matter what like just because you know you don't want to show your face doesn't mean you're restricted youtube evolves and so do the creators so yeah i hope i stayed on track with what i was talking about here uh. the creators themselves uh you guys know like i mentioned earlier yeah i have a list here because uh i ramble so much and that i forget what i'm talking about 
uh, <laughs> uh, Swagger Souls, Cryotic, How to Basic. I know he doesn't really count as a creator, that lovable dude over here, but I decided to add him anyway. Marshmallow. He's never showed in space either. I know he's a musician, but let's let's uh, let's just uh, let's just like uh, kind of mark that. Drop the pen. <laughs> I was, okay, I'll, I won't try to make a joke. That was that was just ga garbage. All right, uh, but yeah, like like I said, I know he's more of a musician, but we'll still add him anyway because he's still anonymous and he does do YouTube, so we'll add him in. Well, the, technically, there's a technicality there, um, but the creators themselves. You look at these creators now. I get it. All, some of these creators may have shown their faces. I'm not talking about complete a a anonymousness here or anonymity. Anonymity. I, that word. Uh, I'm not talking completely about it like, oh, here, we're going to talk about YouTubers that never show their faces. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about YouTubers that haven't showed their faces a lot until one point they did. But, you know, they, they were anonymous for a good portion of their channel. So we're just talking about that as a whole, not them never showing their face as a whole. Okay. But um, obviously what comes to mind when you think of anonymousness in terms of the creator side of YouTube, we think quickly, boom, artists. We think Jaden Animations. Oh no, that door is not locked. I watched that woman just waltz right through. Let me in right now or I swear to- Um, something else YT. Wait, what? Okay, M must not have pressed down hard enough. What? What's happening? Oh, I guess not. So obviously we think of story time YouTubers and, you know, art artist YouTubers in terms of uh, the anonymous side. But, you know, there are still gaming YouTubers, you know, that we talked about. Like, you know, uh, Cryotic, and then we have the RPG Minx, Penguin Zero, and Penguin Zero is also known as Critical, if you guys didn't know that. Oh, yes. Just like clockwork now. Guess that's a checkpoint. This game is full of asshole. The, I love that guy. <laughs> Seriously, he's, he, he knows how to be super blunt, super melatonin, and very sarcastic at the same time. But he, get, he really knows how to, like... I'm not going to talk too much about him, but you get the point. If you've seen him, you know what I'm talking about. How to basic marshmallow, cryotic, swagger souls. Especially swagger souls. Um, for a man who's only done YouTube for a short amount of time and has blown up exponentially, uh, I'm not going to talk about like how he's blown up because I don't know. But uh, he had a very unique twist and he really caught my eye and made me think a lot on how to make this video in terms of the creator's side. Uh, cryotic and everyone else, they, they made you know gaming videos, just didn't show their face and played games swagger did the same thing uh and of course they all eventually got the idea of wearing a mask especially swagger he wears that helmet he wears and it, it got me thinking about the creator side of like if you want to be anonymous on youtube like you, you're not restricted to strict to gaming or reading creepy pastas and having the mic this close to your mouth and and trying to be creepy you can still make amazing content with a unique twist and i loved his twist of wearing that helmet and showing up a lot in public. But I do find it interesting because of sense of humor. Uh. Yeah. So, their content as a whole, let's talk about that, about anonymous YouTubers. I really like what they do. Their content is no different than mine. It's no different than anyone else that shows their face. I'm not gonna say they're, there's this foreign, unique thing that that is insane that no one's ever seen before, but I find it very interesting to the damn levels they go to, and I know many people may say to me, Nick, they're just putting on a mask and covering their face. There's no really big equation involved into the videos, but I always thought about like meet and, like at meet and greets. You know, when I saw Swagger Souls do his Pax East meet and greet, the first thing that went through my head is that must have sucked wearing that helmet for long periods of time, trying to eat with that like. Like, oh my god, like, could you imagine if you're wearing that helmet and then you're like, oh man, I really am hungry and I can't eat because I got this helmet on, everyone knows who I am, and if I take it off, there's a problem here. You know, I always thought of things like that. Uh, but their content as a whole, it's really interesting the way they've done it. Uh, Swagger, he, again, he does gameplays, and his way of doing comedy is, in a way, I see Penguin Zero a lot in Swagger, but with a unique approach to it, with the text he's always throwing down. I definitely do think that anonymous YouTubers are changing YouTube for the better. Uh, I mean, not that any content creator would be changing YouTube for the worse. Uh, but I think it's very unique. Like, I always thought the whole keeping your identity a secret on YouTube is very unique. Because 
as a person who's been showing his face, I find it very hard to think of ideas a lot. Uh, as you guys can tell in my content, that I, I've, I've struggled to think of ideas and still keep a very good connection with you guys. But I do my best, because I love you. But, um, they've all, like, anonymous YouTubers I thought were restricted in a lot of senses with their content. But they've managed to find a way to still stay connective, funny, and amazing. Uh, by just never showing their face and I was like that's crazy you know sometimes to tell a joke facial expressions and hand motions are really what can convey a joke better and yet just hearing these guys voices joking like 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 crazy on their on their videos you're like oh these guys funny I like that I like them bro you funny I find that relatable I think definitely that anonymous youtubers uh, are really are really amazing uh I don't know how long they want to keep that up. I know a lot of anonymous YouTubers that were anonymous for the longest time said, nah, I'll show my face, I don't care anymore. But I know there are others that are like, eh, I'd rather never show my face. I know Cryotic, I know Cryotic has been doing YouTube for a long time and uh, hasn't really shown his face ever. Or if he has, I have no idea. <laughs> I know, uh, I know Crowdick hasn't shown his face, and he's been doing YouTube for a long time, and yeah, like same with how to basic, like he's been doing it for a long time as well and hasn't really shown his face, so I know that for YouTubers that have managed to do it this long, I mean, everyone has their reasons for keeping their identity secret, it could be, you know, a, a fear, you know, oh, what if I do this and it's negative, or whatever the reason may be. Um, they all have their reasons, but I think for the ones that have managed to uh, keep their identity secret for this long and still keep their channel up there, that, that takes amount of effort. So, you know, I definitely got to give them uh, props for that because I don't think I'd be able to do that. Hey guys, it's me, Nick, and I want to let you guys know that this is two days after the initial uh, part of the video that you're watching. So I wanted to say thank you for making it this far. Uh, as you guys can tell, uh, this is a whole opinionated like thing on what I think about anonymous YouTubers and, and what I assume is, you know, the success and personality-wise. Uh, so because of that, me, uh, me trying to use opinion and speak from the heart without a script being written at all, I was running out of things to say at the end, and it, I ended up ending it in a weird way. So... Yeah, that, that, that wasn't an appropriate way to end the video, but I think this will be. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, being an honest YouTuber is just a very interesting part of YouTube that I like. Uh, I think it is a hard thing to do sometimes, but a very rewarding thing to do too. To take that much skill to be hilarious without showing your face or, you know, a lot about yourself is very, uh, is very awesome, very cool. I have a huge appreciation for the anon anonymous YouTube community. Uh, if you want to call it a community, but that's all right. Uh, but yeah, that's it. The, the video really isn't anything, spe you know, big on that level. But uh, but I want to say thank you guys so much again for listening to me ramble about a topic I enjoy and a part of YouTube I really like. Thank you guys so so much for watching. And if you want to see more crazy little videos like this, let me know. Uh, this is my first time at something like this, and as you guys can tell, I was extremely nervous. It's a few days later, I'm less nervous now, but thank you guys so much for watching again, and, uh, I'll see you all in that upcoming video. Yeah, guys, see you later.